Okay, finally, uh, Aristotle's theory of moral virtue, we said there are four things. It's a habit, it's context specific, it's a mean or a middle position between an excess and a deficiency, and finally, it concerns pleasure and pain. Now, what does that mean? Aristotle thinks you're not yet virtuous until you not just do the right things, but you do them habitually and you like doing them. So it's one thing to do the right thing and even try to cultivate the habit of doing the right thing, but you're not virtuous until you like it. Uh, there was a movie about 12, 13 years ago called uh, The Breakup. I think it was called The Breakup with Vince Vaughn and uh, Jennifer Aniston and their couple having arguments and things and Jennifer Aniston wanted Vince Vaughn to do the dishes and he does the dishes and she's like, ah, it's, not a, it's not good enough. I want you to want to do the dishes. And he goes, why would I want to do the dishes? And what she was getting at though is that she wanted him to enjoy the activity he was doing because it was being done for her. By analogy, Aristotle says that you're not really virtuous until you like and delight in doing the good. You find joy in doing the good. Imagine somebody uh, who does something nice for someone and does it begrudgingly or does it with a frown on their face. It even you know, says in the New Testament somewhere to be a cheerful, God loves a cheerful giver, right? Um, imagine, we even, it, so Aristotle, uh, we even have idioms in our um, culture where if someone picks up the tip or picks up the bill at a restaurant, you're out to eat with them or something and they say, oh no, please, please, and they go, no, it's my pleasure. In other words, I enjoy doing good for you. Uh, I enjoy, I enjoy it. And that's what virtue is, uh, and moral virtue is so important for Aristotle and concerns pleasure and pain. You like doing the right thing and you dislike doing the wrong thing. So Aristotle thinks this is the best, we've already talked about this a little bit in terms of desire and telos and what we really want, what we like. Aristotle thinks this is the best indication of who you are. What do you find pleasure in? Do you find pleasure in doing good, in the good, or do you find pleasure in vice, in doing bad, in doing evil, right? And so virtue is a good habit. Vice are bad habits. V uh, virtue does the right thing and likes it. Vice does the wrong thing and likes it. So there's good habits and bad habits for Aristotle and they're so integral uh, in being happy.